Hi, welcome back to Engineering Corner, guys. This is another video in the Java FX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, I have done the JFX Drawer part. We implemented the JFX Drawer, and now in this video, I'll be handling the actions for this button. So, it is pretty simple. Uh, you have a void load window option. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to another one. I mean, another package. We have our util package, right? Yes, we have library assistant dot util package. Here instead, well, we added a set stage icon option. Here I am going to add one more entry to load new window because we'll be calling this method from wide variety of uh, UI in the future. So it is better to have a static uh, method. So inside library assistant util, I am going to write this method void load window. And uh, I'm going to make it public so that I can easily access it. And I'm converting that into static method so that I can just call it from the library system YouTube. Then <clears throat> uh, what we need is we have to do something like here. We have to get the resource that we have to load. So you are, uh, this is a resource URL. So instead of passing this location, I am passing this URL location, uniform resource locator. Then I am going to change this here to here so there is no more of that error. Then we can give this title. Then stage is we are creating a separate stage. In case we are not creating a separate stage, we can pass a stage here. So I will create a parent stage. I will pass that variable. This is not used now. I am just giving this for future purposes. So <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to create this one stage object set that to none if parent stage is not null then we will take that stage then stage equals parent stage otherwise our stage is new stage so in this example in this tutorial i'll be using only null parent stage because i want to create separate stage for this one but in case in future if we need a uh, uh, fxml to be loaded i mean i seem to be loaded in an existing stage we can pass it there this is for future purposes only so we got a stage then from this stage we do the rest of the process and here we don't have to call library assistant util or set stage icon because it's already here so we have load window coming back here. Uh, th these are errors uh, because we changed that part. What we have to do is we have to change this here. We have to <coughs> change this to library assistant util dot library assistant util dot load window. And here we cannot simply pass this as a string. We have to get this as a resource. So I am going to give that. So get class dot get resource. Then here we can simply give that value. Then here we have to give title. Here we have, have to give null. Then we have add new member option. So I'm going to give that add member. <coughs> so title is add member. So we have to do this for each and everything for load add book. We have to do it for load add. Uh, member for book table for load setting. So let me do it fast. Let me change it here. Then here add new member, add new book. Then removing this. <coughs> Actually I will pause the video and do it for now. I have completed changing the uh, method parameters. Now everything is, will be loaded from library assistant into the load window. And now we have to move this method because this method no longer exists in this main controller.java since we have moved the contain the toolbar into a separate toolbar container. So I can paste that right here. Put it here. So that much part is okay. Now we have to give that at fxml notation because I just removed it. So at fxml, uh, I need that here. I need this guy here. Moving. Moving. So far, so good. Let us run the program for now. <coughs> so I'm uh, logging in using my credentials. Then here, I'm going to press here add member. 
as you can see we got the add new member option now i'm going to press on add book i got add book member list i got member list book list and settings everything is working so that's it guys that how you implement the jfx drawer so with this third video the jfx drawer part is complete from next video onwards we will tune the other parts of jfx library management system as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it let me know your comments in the comment section and thanks again